Hello everybody, I am the Craftacular Creator and today I am sharing a process video for a comic strip style card. You may recognise the characters that I have used. As part of this process I will be paper piecing, copic colouring, embellishing and assembling a comic strip. We also have a special guest in this video, Miss Maggie makes her debut appearance to make sure I am focused on the card making. For this card I used the great box and the sentiments to go with it from Kindred Stamps. An assortment of 6x6 six six papers from the great box kit. And the lawn fawn jolly Christmas tree die. I begin by die cutting the tree in the various coloured papers. I use a sheet of double sided adhesive to cut the base piece of the die in order to make the paper piecing a little easier. I place the pieces in using a pickup tool. I love this process. To add a little extra something, I use red and yellow gems for the baubles. I stamped, cut and coloured the images and decided which sentiment to use. Later I will be dressing the characters to make them a little more festive. To create the background I used lawn fawn dot paper in yellow, teal, blue and red. I also used a lawn fawn peekaboo backdrop die and cut this in white cardstock. I used the white frame as a guide to cut my coloured pieces. I draw them so that they are a little bigger so I can use the excess to glue them to the back. I repeat this process for all four colours. Once I have the pieces ready, I attach 1 16th inch double sided adhesive tape to the back of the frame. I then peel off the back of paper and attach the coloured pieces. Here's Maggie. Look at those cute little white socks. Maggie is a 12 week old kitten and already a wonderful addition to her family. I look forward to her joining me in my crafting adventures in the future. Here she checks the tools I'm using and the quality of colouring in the images. Next, I stamp the sentiment and lay out the images. I fussy cut the sentiment and start attaching everything to the panel using 3D frame pads. At this point I felt that the card wasn't quite festive enough so I stamped images from Lawn Fawn Seasons Tweetings and Yeti or Not to add in. The colours I used can be seen on the caps on the screen. Off screen I fussy cut them and attached them to the card using liquid glue. Maggie returns to give me her purr of approval just in time for my ta-da! I enjoyed making this card and I love the characters and the sentiment for it. Inspiration for this creation comes from Craft Roulette. The parameters can be seen on the screen. Cardstock plus not cardstock was met by using gems. The colours are very bright, just how I imagine they would be in Santa's workshop. The dog has a collar and the boy is wearing a zigzag pattern t-shirt. 
With mention of craft roulette and parameters, I have included a slide of what it's all about and I hope, if you haven't already, subscribe to Craft Roulette. It is so much fun. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Ta-ta for now everyone. Take care and I'll be back soon.